Hi, my name is Owen. I'm one of the game engineers at Podcrash, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add this model, created in Blockbench, into Minecraft. Some things you need to know before we get started. You're going to need to have a completed model exported as a bedrock geometry file. You also need to have a Minecraft world to put this model into, a text editor such as Notepad++ or Visual Studio Code, and the zip file in the description of this video. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is navigate to the Minecraft Worlds directory, which you could find at this address, simply by changing this text here to be your username of your computer. You could find this in the description of the video. This folder shows all of your Minecraft worlds, so once you find the world you want to add the model into, you can click on it, and you're gonna see the files for that world. We're gonna to want to take the zip you find in the description of this video and extract it here. Once you do that, you're going to go inside the resource packs folder, go into custom, go into models, and go into entity. In here, you're going to drag the bedrock geometry file you got from here in. So I'm gonna to go to my models folder here I'm going to grab the test.geo.json and I'm going to drag this in. Keep in mind, I'm going to open this file up. I'm opening this up in Visual Studio Code. And inside here, it's a geometry with a description. This identifier needs to be geometry.test. Make sure that this is correct. All right. Now we're going to go back up to the custom folder and we're going to go to textures and then entity. Inside here, we're gonna drag this test.png into here. Make sure that the name of this is correct. Now, all we need to do is open up Minecraft, slash summon custom colon test, and you press enter. And now we have our own entity added into this Minecraft world. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't see how we made this model, you could check our last video.